Hey guys, how's it going? Anthony Muthuraja here. I've been MIA for a while, I know. Apologies for that. Um, the previous lesson I talked about the Jaco essence of groove and um, I want to definitely continue that series but I thought I want to deviate a little and talk about something else altogether. Something that in my opinion is forgotten about in music these days. Like everywhere, not just um, jazz or improvising and that kind of stuff. Melody. Now, melody is what seals a song for me. You know, and essentially, you can look at everything as a melody. A bass line is a melody. I don't know why people have to look at it as a bass line. You know, like, for example... That's a bass line, yes, but there's a melody involved, you know? You can sing that. People sing this stuff because they, they recognize it. They recognize the hook and it's melodic and groovy. So, I want this lesson will be in the context of improvisation. And I think improvisation is a good ground to cover even, for, even if you're looking for compo compositional um, inspiration because essentially composition comes out of improvisation. You have an idea and you build on it. That is how you improvise and that's how you write. It all stems out of improvisation. It's not like, I mean, there are occasions where you have everything concrete already, but a good number of times you sit down and improvise on your instrument. You, you try to figure out, okay, what do I do? Um, what do I have to try? Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, many lessons will tell you, you need to know your chord skills. You have C major, you play C major scale. Bravo, like I didn't have to be told that Captain Obvious, I mean, come on, isn't it obvious? So, chord scales, arpeggios, leaks, patterns, shapes, like, there's a lot. A lot of stuff that can really leave you hanging in a rut. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to talk about how you can use arpeggios and scales to think about melodies or to create melodies so you don't have to think scales when you play or improvise or write music or coming up the bass line or writing a song and laying down the harmony you don't have to think oh, okay E major would should go to A major or A minor A4 minor is cool but is the melody taking it there so that kind of a thing so I'm gonna take one lick, which is the mother, I call it the mother of all bebop licks. No, it is not the lick. Although, actually, that's a, I like that lick. Um, we're going to go with this lick. Again. So that's a 2-5 in uh, G. Right? So that lick is super simple. What it is, is going up the A minus 7 arpeggio, down to the third of D, and then this continues on the scale. You get to the third of G major. Right? So now I'm going to play the original lick, and then I'm going to play some melodies that I have come up with using this as a skeletal frame and then I'm going to try to create new melodies as well so there will be fumbles don't mind I mean I'm not going to edit anything I just want you to see the process of what I do in the shed so original lick is some extension ideas Thank 
interesting. Right, so I really like the last idea I'm gonna get working on it once I'm done with this. So I was adding notes to the initial lick, the let's call it the mother. <laughs> so I was adding notes, then I started adding non diatonic notes and non territorial scales, basically not A minor, A Dorian, D, what the hell is it? Mixolydian and G major Ionian. So what what is going through my head when I'm thinking of these melodies? Well, first things first, I know the I know the harmony I'm trying to um, invoke in the playing. I know where I want to resolve. And um, I'm just exploring the possibilities. So now let's look at this lick. Now this it comes from the D altered. Right? So I I love this that that melody that the color of it so I'm using that and now check out the difference between these two the first one I started here the next one I started here both of it has its flavors right so and I, I try to sing these lines because I want them to be melodic. Melody, like it has to sound like a melody. Like I want to convince somebody that's a tune. Like it's a song that somebody wrote and never released. That's kind of lame, but... Um, mm. Now these are... These are based off of dominant scales or my, the, the or the related minor scales. I'll talk about in a separate lesson. But the idea is, I take these scales, arpeggios, and I'm creating melodies. I'm not just doing. That that sounds like shit. doesn't sound so bad I'm just what I'm trying to generally do is force myself to find melodies they can be sweet they can be out they can be whatever you you want them to be but as long as you play them with conviction if you play this line like uh, uh, that's you're out you're done so I don't I don't deny the fact you need to know your chords, arpeggios, and chord scales, and all that stuff. But essentially, you need to have an ear for good melody. And how do you develop that? Listen to a lot of music. And listen to the music and see what's enjoyable about the music. I mean, not see, hear what's, en what's the enjoyable part for you. What, what draws you to that song? Like, for instance, any guitar player, rock player would know. Uh. Instantly, you would know what song that is. Right? Or how about... You know that. Now that's a bass line, yeah. The earlier one was chords, but it still revolves around the melody. Right, so listen to more music, try to develop a strong ear for melody. And if you can sing the melodies, that's the best you can do. Because essentially this is just a medium 
of making the music it comes from within the head the heart the ears the fingers the body everything so um i didn't want to go on blabbing too much but i believe you get the point take what you know try to create melodies and this will really help with composition too like you'd be surprised and then on top of that you add the harmony you know and you know can work and that's where the music starts to take shape that's where it starts to get beautiful because now you have melodic reference with it and essentially normal people care about melody they don't care about how fast and what concepts you use on giant steps or um, i don't know like cold train changes or whatever what they want to hear is melody so yeah that is that and uh, i hope you guys get something out of this for real and until next time probably part two of the jaco essence of groove stay tuned peace out <laughs>